Hello everyone, so today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to set up RPC tools for your JTAG or RGH. Um, there seems to be a bit of confusion about the setup process or certain things aren't working, so I figured I would try to sum up all the information to the best of my ability. The process is actually extremely simple, um, so this won't be a long video at all. However, this video does presume that you already have Xbox 360 Neighborhood installed and set up to work with your JTAG or RGH. If you're not entirely sure about that setup process, head over to my channel and there's a video explaining um, how to do just that. So for RPC tools, there's really just two things you need. Um, you will need the RPC plugin and you will need to edit your launch.ini. Um, if you're not sure about your own launch.ini and you're not comfortable with editing it, feel free to make that a backup and download mine from the description and edit this one. This one has always worked for me, so you know don't have any like real qualms about using it. Um, most tools will come with um, an XEX file, usually um, XRPC or JRPC, just because those are essentially the standards at this point. Um, so we're going to work with JRPC and XRPC in this video. If yours comes with um, RPC or JTAG RPC, feel free to add that as a plugin or delete one of the other plugins. But um, JRPC and XRPC are essentially universal at this point, to be honest. Um, so when we open up this launch, um, you'll notice that all the plugins are already set up. The plugin 5 we can kind of disconcern ourselves with because that's Xbox Live Stealth and that has absolutely nothing to do with this video. Um, the first plugin is to Xbox 360 Neighborhood and like I said, I presume you've already have that set up and working on your JTAG RG, so it already has to be a plugin somewhere. Um, so I'm not going to really get into that. Um, make sure that your plugin 2, 3, and if you need it 4 are your RPC plugins. I don't know too many other plugins that I've ever used besides RPC, Xbox Neighborhood, and Xbox Live Stealth, so you should have at least two spots to use for RPC plugins. Um, for your own personal benefit, I would recommend keeping the plugins on the root of your HDD or USB, depending on which one you use, just to make the path to access them shorter. Um, for those of you who don't know my setup, I have a weird setup. I don't have an HDD, so everything I do is on a USB. So my path is USB um, colon slash xrpc.xex. However, if you're using an HDD and you put xrpc.xex on the root of your HDD, you'll have to change this to HDD forward slash xrpc.xex. It's essentially the same thing. You just need to change the file path. Once that's set up, everything should work fine as long as you also have Xbox Neighborhood. Make sure that your JTAG is connected to Xbox Neighborhood when you attempt to use an RPC tool. Um, if it still isn't working, feel free to message me and I'll do my best to provide um, you know, like one-on-one -on -one help or like personal help. Um, but as long as you follow kind of the guidelines of this video and my setting up Xbox 360 Neighborhood video, everything should work right as rain. Um, these settings that I have right now have worked with every single tool that I've ever used. Um, Darks, XRPC, and RTG, Real-Time Gamertag, are two really big examples. So, yeah, hopefully this was somewhat helpful. Again, the setup process is unbelievably simple. Um, however, if you don't really have a lot of experience with editing your launch.ini or plugins, I can see how it can be a bit daunting or confusing. So yeah, good luck to everybody. If you still can't figure it out, like I said, feel free to message me on YouTube and I will do my absolute best to get you up and running. See you guys.